Hey guys, so today I want to do a browser test here with the latest iPhone um, iOS 7 Beta 5 uh, because I haven't tried it out actually in the browser. It's probably going to be pretty much similar to earlier betas, uh, but it still could be interesting to check out. So you fire it up here. Uh, I also do believe we may have some other browsers that I may be able to test and compare. Uh, I mean, we do have the Google Chrome browser here on my Samsung Galaxy S4. And then we have the Safari browser here. I'm, I'm not quite sure in the App Store if we do have any other interesting browsers. If we do, then of course that could be quite nice to do a comparison. Um, checking out some other browsers just in general, uh, because of course that is one thing that people use a lot on their smartphones, because I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. Um, we can still see here that the display on thus iPhone is bright, brighter than what you get on the Galaxy S4. Uh, when we are running on full brightness here, <clears throat> and let's see here, you can also see here in terms of the UI that when we go down here, the, this whole kind of menu up there at the top disappears. So to get that back, you kind of have to, let's see here, can we do a normal tap up here? Let's see. Okay. If you want to get that menu up again, you can't tap up here. So it's a little bit random. You need to like go up or something uh, to the top to see that top bar. While here uh, with Apple, uh, you, you scroll down a little bit. It's still uh, uh, up there at the top. Let's see here, even though you can still see what kind of website you're on. And if you want to bring it up bigger, you just tap there. Um, also, you have an interesting function here, of course, in iOS 7, that if you tap on the clock, it should go to the top, just like so. Uh, but many times now with the latest iOS uh, 7, with this new browser, um, it seems like you can have some difficulties. Sometimes you use, it thinks that you want to tap on uh, changing the website, while you just want to tap over there to scroll up. So, a little bit random. You can, of course, see here uh, that when we zoom in, let's see here, let's do some browser speed test. No, there we go. So, of course, we do have a new Google Nexus 7. Here we go. Apple's really, really good at automating the speed, so you can see how much quicker here it do load up everything. This did load it up in a few seconds. This one's still loading the page. And let's see here. If we tap on this image. Also, the image seems to be popping up a little bit quicker here. Of course, in terms of viewing experience here, it's going to be a little bit more cool probably uh, on the bigger display. But that's pretty obvious. Uh, also, of course, uh, this is something I don't really get uh, with the Google Chrome browser that you don't get some kind of like reading mode. Uh, let's say you're on an article and you, you just want to read the text. Well, it could be a little bit annoying uh, zooming in like this and then you just go to the side like so. Uh, so, um, of course, Apple has this reading mode up here at the top, which is pretty nice. Or it's very nice, actually. It's super nice. Uh, of course, uh, Samsung also has this in their touch with browser, but not in this browser. Let's see here, do these have the same kind of function here? Let's see. Uh, you can't actually go back uh, one step by swiping back like so uh, in the Google Chrome browser. You can do this with Apple. So it has kind of like a cool function here where you can simply go back. It doesn't have to actually re-render anything. It's pretty impressive actually. Uh, let's go back here. Okay, this one did have to re-render the page. So now uh, one article here is being removed, I think. A little bit annoying. Okay, there we go. Hmm. There we go. So this website has that it kind of like removes around the articles, 
Wow, you can see it's how much quicker it's already loaded up here in Safari Browser. It really is snappy in terms of the speed. Pretty insanely impressive. And let's see here if you still have like a slow uh, going up and down. You can see it did have some render issues here because the page is like random down here. We didn't get that on my Galaxy phone. Uh, okay, let's try it scrolling to see if it's kind of like the same as earlier. So let's just do one normal swipe. You can see that we almost get to the top here of the article, uh, which is one simple like hard uh, swipe, where here we don't even get close to the top. Uh, I do enjoy uh, fast scrolling, like I should be able to get to the top if I want to, I think, because I, the potential is there, like if I really want to go up and down quick, I mean, I want to go up and down quick. Here it's, you can't go up and down quick. Maybe not a super big deal, but uh, use a small little feature there. Uh, of course, in terms of features inside of the browser, they are both pretty simplistic. Just have the new tab section, which looks pretty awesome. Request desktop site though, that's a feature that I do enjoy in the Google Chrome browser that if I wanna load up all the desktop sites, especially if you have a big phone, like an Android smartphone, uh, it's awesome that it doesn't load up the mobile version of the site. So just quickly overall look here. I would say that still in terms of speed, the Safari browser definitely is a clear winner here. So yeah, uh, if there are any other browsers you want me to compare, uh, please tell me about that and I'll definitely see what I can do. I mean, it would be fun to compare some other popular browsers. So just experiment with that more in the future.